well. Everything had went together really smoothly. It was uh, in the beginning is where you got to be the most careful and make sure everything starts off straight. Uh, and so we did that, and then just worked our way on around and went around the, uh, the doors there and into the closet. On just a little bit past the entrance there, and there I stopped. And I'll continue on afterwards when we do the rest of the remodel. But now you get a real good look at the color of the floor and how it looks. I'm really, really, really happy with the uh, with the color. And then I think uh, I think we did a, made a good choice in going with the wider boards. I think it uh, it looks a little nicer. We paid a little bit more for it, but it wasn't too bad. We're gonna have the entire house in this floor. We were initially gonna do just the bedrooms and and a few other areas, but uh, we liked it so well that we went ahead and just bought enough to do the whole house. We'll do the whole house in this. You like it? Se gustó? You like it? After we finished the floor, we went straight into working on our baseboards and trim. I tried to use as much of the, of the baseboard and trim as, uh, as I could of what we already had there to reuse it to save some money, but I did change the design of it. You can see as I was uh, moving around this bookcase, I kind of changed the way that looked. And then I changed the tops of the doors and the windows. I think I like that molding a little bit better than what we had before. So I did spend a little bit of money doing that, but I think it was a, a, a big improvement. Moving around all the, the doors, the shelves, the windows, even the closet door. Now I'm doing all of the caulking, moving around everything in preparation for paint. So this is before, it's just gonna be covered. Okay. Just so we're clear, this is not my carpentry work here. <laughs> with these, the shelves? With the big spaces, yeah. This, I'm just salvaging what was already here yeah, by using some, uh, some half inch caulking. He's uh, fixing, uh, because they, it doesn't look nice like this. So when he does that, you see how it looks nicer like that? It pretty much fixes like so it doesn't look like it's uneven but this is the overview so far of the bedroom This is a special tube of half inch topping Okay. Those of you who know what I'm talking about, you can know. All right, so we're getting ready to paint uh, all of our trim. And so I've masked off the entire walls because I don't want to get any paint on that. And I will be masking the floor as well and the windows. I'm leaving exposed only the trim that I want to paint. And I'm going to be using a little spray gun that, that I have that should give it a really nice finish without any brush marks or anything. I'm also leaving the doors and the shelves exposed uh, so we can paint them the same color as our trim, which will be a bright white. anything that I don't want paint on. Um, I did not mask the ceiling. I don't really think that we'll have a lot of uh, overspray right at that time. And I'm not sure if it was necessary to mask all of the walls or maybe just a little bit around the windows and stuff, but it's gonna, this is going to be my first time using this gun and I'm not sure how much overspray. I want it to be safe rather than sorry. So tomorrow I'll clean all the surfaces that I'm going to paint to make sure I get a nice smooth surface and then start painting. 
I'm going to do a test spray first on the paper. I'm going to try to get the under part there. Yeah, but if I do this, try to do this now,